look what we have here. This is my Tizla with Raichu. Yeah, we're right outside the office right now. Here's Mahel, she's taking a picture. Mahel's also on Instagram. My Tizla. Follow her. Trying to keep your car clean in this time of year, especially in Alberta where we have our Chinook winds. Man, it's so hard. Look, just look at it. Yeah, so mine isn't that bad because I try to avoid the lanes that have the puddles and all the melted snow. This side especially, on the left side, on the right side too. But other cars, ooh, just look at that. Well, it's that time of year. Anyway, time for some lunch. That was an amazing lunch. Uh, what I find is this external microphone. Um, it's not a pure shotgun mic like the road, like the other road microphones. Um, it still picks quite a bit of the noise um, in the other directions behind it. Yeah, so I should probably still use my lavalier mic for some other applications. I have one more appointment in the building next door and we'll head back to the office. a good little break so actually in this video I really wanted to talk about winter driving range um, the difference between having percentage versus rated miles and ideal miles or kilometers so I have kilometers to be um, because I'm Canadian but I'll show you it's winter time r right now so but you know what we have a Chinook wind going on so there's a meltdown of snow as you can see, it's melting, the roads are icky. Uh, right now it's four degrees. And if you notice, I have my um, battery remaining indicated in percentage points. So it's percentage of energy. So let's go to this, um, to this screen here. Okay, so er, today I had it set to 90, let's go down to 80, that's better. There it goes. There it says 57%. We have 57% of our battery remaining. However, in the settings tab, you can change it to display distance. Okay. So distance, we can have either the rated kilometers or miles and ideal miles. Okay. Let's look at the difference. So I'm going to have rated miles right now. Or rated kilometers so I have 234 rated kilometers that is for the 57% charge see I'm just changing it with my other hand here so I have 57% charge that is a rated number of kilometers of 234 I never mess with this ideal setting because you'll never ever get this ideal um, kilometers maybe if you hyper mile with all the climate control off like driving only 80 kph or 50 miles per hour on the freeway no i won't do that but let's talk about rated so this rated kilometers or miles is based on an algorithm from tesla with the rated kilometers the car is rated to go 234 kilometers and that is based on a certain or a fixed watt hours per kilometer um, depending on how much available energy is left in the battery so right now um, since I last charged my consumption in our model X 90 D was 256 watt hours per kilometer what is how do you find out what is the rated 
what uh, what uh, what hours per kilometer so over here as you can see here there's this line here you see that's the rated watt hours per kilometer so since it was a bit colder in the morning um, we have had a higher rated watt hours per kilometer let's go 50 kilometers so in the past 50 kilometers we have averaged 242 watt hours per kilometer so based on um, the amount of energy left on the in the battery it will tell us a projected range which is far different from the rated range we have of 233 so in the summertime it's very easy to get that rated range in actual driving however in the winter time you have to throw that estimate out of the window so this projected range it's quite a bit more accurate than the rated range so how do we come up with this so um, this is for people who use kilometers let's say us Canadians and Europeans so I prefer using the energy um, versus the um, rated kilometers so this is applicable to the Tesla Model X 90D and Tesla Model S 75D and I would say the P85s as well um, use this percentage in the winter time and then have a multiplier so depending on how cold it is use a multiplier so in the summer months because at a 100% um, charge this car gets around 425 kilometers so as a rule of thumb I only use a multiplier of 4 in the summertime meaning any time where the temperature is above 15 degrees when the temperature is between like 0 and 15 or I would say 5 and 15 degrees Celsius Celsius some of you might tell me why you say Celsius well whatever <laughs> as long as we understand each other okay between 10 and 15 degrees Celsius I use a multiplier of 3 and anything below 0 I use a multiplier of 2 so let's say for example at this point remember our rated miles was what 233 kilometers so we use a multiplier like it's 4 degrees I would use a multiplier of 3 so right now at 57 percent I would say we have around 171 kilometers of um, my own estimated range so that would be an accurate estimate or probably a bit conservative for an estimate but it's better to be conservative for your estimate than aggressive in estimating the number of kilometers you can travel but if the temperature right now were like minus 20 I would just multiply this number by 2 so I can say we'll only have 114 kilometers so in general if I have more than 40% of rated range or of battery power remaining I don't even look at this if I'm within the city but if I have let's say 20% remaining and I need to get home then I would use the multipliers based on how much um, percentage charge I have so let's say it's minus 20 outside and I only have let's say 15% and I have 40 kilometers to go I would plan a charging stop in between that is my spiel on using the percentage rather than the rated kilometers using a multiplier for those of you who live in the US um, you use miles right so just use them it will be tougher to use the multiplier so probably when it's warm use 2.5 and then use and then use a decreasing multiplier as it gets colder probably use 2.5 1.75 and probably 1.5 when it's extremely cold so I hope this video helps um, in explaining um, why you shouldn't use um, the rated kilometers in the winter time and what you should do to estimate your range great it's three Teslas outside our office here's Mahal's Tesla 
on that teased look. And here's my accountant's Tesla. Beeline. And this is Raichu. You might have seen this other Tesla. It's a 75D. It's a Model X 75D. And it's the older 7-seater configuration with the one-touch um, power, power second row seats. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Also, follow me on Instagram. It's Ariel.Xavier. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.